every auto manufacturer switch over to EVs, to electric cars. Do you understand what that does to us? quick video today going over why the Chevrolet Camaro is such an important car to have in the world today right now and I want you guys to hear me out on my reasons right uh, I'll make it really simple you see how right now we have this whole thing happening in the Ukraine uh, where you know Russia is invading and like I think one of the first things they did was like a cyber attack they did like a cyber attack that knocked out their energy grid. So, you know, for a lot of the places they were without electricity, right? And, you know, I could only imagine, I feel so bad for those people. I could only imagine what those, their, their lives were like without having power and knowing that they're being invaded. And, and that's not even counting all the bombshells and all that other things that, that was happening. But just imagine for a second, something like that happened here in the US, right? Imagine that there was a cyber attack that knocked out all of our, um, all of our electricity. And yet still, you know, let's say it's like five to 10 years from now, and our governments has made it a mandate that every auto manufacturer switch over to EVs, to electric cars. Do you understand what that does to us? Do you understand the position that puts us in? Now we can't go anywhere. We're at the mercy of a dictator at that point. I mean, mind you, you know, we would be regardless, but just think about it. Let's say there's people that are trying to flee to go to Mexico or go someplace else, you know, and they're only able to go 400 miles or, or you know, 200 miles or 150 miles or whatever, whatever the, their EV has in it, and then they're done. Whereas if you have a fast, you know, car that has that that uses gasoline, you can get where you need to go faster. You can re keep refueling and keep refueling all the way through South America, or wherever it is that your your route of of escape is. You know what I mean? So, I wanted to kind of put all of that in context, right? So many of us blindly follow what our governments say, and we don't realize that most of the governments, they're basically just being influenced by rich people that really don't give a damn about society. They don't give a damn about like anybody else other than their bottom line. They only care about their pockets and what they're, they're pulling in. So they'll find a trendy new thing, EV, whatever, and put marketing dollars behind it and pay, pay off a couple senators, pay off whoever they gotta pay off, and then bam that's the new thing and that's what we're all supposed to do but it does not make sense you know i want you guys to think about it right yes it's great you know maybe we could lower our carbon footprint by by having uh evs but don't put a mandate to outlaw or, or get rid of gasoline powered vehicles just make a more like uh sustainable fuel you know like right now if we put the same effort that we're putting into evs into like synthetic fuels we we will be just fine, you know, or even or even ethanol. If we just, you know, refined ethanol, we use like corn or whatever to to power our vehicles. All of those things would work better than what we're doing right now. And I don't think I think most of our government, most of the people in charge, are so short-sighted. They only see what's right in front of them. They think that the way things are now is the way it's always going to be, and they don't plan ahead. And I think you know we as a people have to put out our own mandates that the people that we put in power look out for us, you know? And part of what I think works best for us is having, you know, V8, V6s, uh, turbo fours, twin turbo sixes, straight sixes, you know, have gasoline powered cars as well as EVs, as well as flying cars. Give us all the options and let us choose. We can go about things in a much smarter way than what we've been going out. So, I, I venture to say that cars like this, like the Chevrolet Camaro, it inspires people, it makes people work harder at their jobs because they wanna afford something like this one day. It, it captures the heart and the soul of a lot of people, just the sound of it.
I don't know. I, I think th these are things that are worth discussing, that are that are that are worth thinking about because, it, you know, if we get into a future where all we have is electric cars, I believe that puts us as at risk. And I think now that people realize the type of things that can happen in our world, a lot more people are going to start agreeing with me. Like when I first started saying this, people was like, "Oh man, this guy's crazy, or he's a hater, or he's just stupid. He doesn't know any better." But now you now you see, all it takes is some dictator to hack our energy system and then what happens to all the evs then what happens you know i say give us our muscle cars give us our, our, our evs as well give us flying cars give us you know uh hybrids get you know don't take things off the table i think by taking things off the table you restrict the efficiency of your population you restrict the efficiency of your country and it just doesn't make good sense so that's my rant uh let me know what you guys think whether you agree with me or not and if you do comment below and tell me what you think and even if you don't agree with me still comment below and let me hear i want to hear the other side of how you guys feel all right that's all i got to say about that race car friends out yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh you want to three two one yeah okay all right you ready yeah all right three two